guys, this is the look we are doing today. Just some Makeup Geek eyeshadows and then a Kat Von D Shade Light palette around the outside. Um, I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, Concealer. This is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I'm going to use the shade Fair Neutral. This one's a little too light for me, but I like using it to prime my eyes. It'll make the eyeshadow pop more. And then I am going to set that with this um, light shade here from the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. And I'm just doing this so that the shadow that we put over it blends a lot easier. Um, usually when you have something sticky like a base or a concealer and you try and blend out colors, it'll get stuck right in one spot. So I like to set it down with a nice soft and smooth shadow to help things blend. Now, I'm going to take this end color here, it's like, it's called Latinus. This one was called Ludwig, and this one's called Latinus from the Shade Light Palette. I'm just going to take that on my thick fluffy brush from Sigma and dust that all the way through the crease. Now, I'm going to take this white shade here, Salos. Sorry if I say that wrong, it looks like Salos. I'm going to take a bit of that and put that right up under my brow here. And now, we're going in with this guy right here, Solus. I'm going to take it on a uh, Makeup Geek pointed crease brush. Take that off. And then we're just going to start um, putting it along the outside corner of the eye. Bring it up into the crease. Don't bring it up too far though. And then we're also going to put that right here on the inside of the eye as well. So as you can see, it looks kind of weird right now that we have this blank space in the middle. I'm going to take a blending brush just to blend out all of the edges along that. In the center of the lid here, I'm going to take Makeup Geek's oops, take Makeup Geek's foiled shadow here in Grandstand. I'm going to put this on a shader brush from Morphe. It's the M210. Pat that right in the center of the lid here. And then just for some extra mention on the very, very center of the lid, I'm going to put this foiled shadow in Starry Eyed. Okay, going back in with the crease brush and that dark brown shade Soulless. Going to touch up and blend together. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I'm just going to do line across the top with a wing. Okay, 
Okay, and if you get a little bit jaggedy on the edges here, I like to take one of the pointed Q-tips and um, you can use any kind of micellar water, this one, or micro water, whatever. This one is the Dr. Jart um, Dermaclear one. I really like the simple micellar water, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna use it. And just take the edge of the Q-tip and sharpen up your lines. Then I'm just going to put on a quick coat of mascara and some falsies. Um, I'm really bad still at putting them on on camera, so I'm going to go, whoops, sorry. I'm going to go put those on and I will be right back. So lashes and um, mascara done. I went ahead and put some uh, eyeliner in my waterline too. I use the... Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in black. It is by far my favorite eyeliner to put in the waterline. It does not go anywhere. It goes on smoothly. There's no patchiness. It is black. It is so good. Now I am going to go ahead and do my foundation and my brows. Um, I have tutorials for both of those and for the sake of time in this video. Um, I'm going to do those off camera, but I will link them down below in the down bar So make sure if you want to see how I do my foundation and my brows check that out. I will be right back Okay to um, Set my under eyes. I did use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I am going to use the hmm, The shade Lyric here in the middle of Kat Von D's shade light palette just press that into the skin. You don't want to swipe it back and forth. You're going to move the product around. So you just want to dab, dab, dab. Okay, we're going to finish off the eyes and then we will move on to the rest of the face. All right, I'm going to start with taking the dark brown shade over here that we used on the outside and inside of the eyes. I'm going to take that on this flat definer brush here and I'm going to smudge that right up underneath the lashes. Okay, then I'm going to take a pencil brush and the shade that we used in the crease over here and I'm going to smoke that out. And to finish off, oh, I forgot to do my brows. Hmm, we'll do that in a second. To finish off my eyes, I am going to take Jordana's Best Lash Extreme for the lower lashes. Okay, now with those done, I I'm actually going to do my brows this time. I'll be right back and we will finish up the face. Okay, so brows done. <laughs> um, going in with NARS Laguna. Um, this is just the virtual domination palette from the holidays, but this is Laguna. Um, you can buy that individually. I'm going to take that on this fluffy brush here, just kind of. Use that to warm up the face. Now I'm going in with the shade Subconscious here from the Shade Light Palette. And I'm going to take that on this little Makeup Geek Dome brush. And we're going to do a little bit of contouring here. Right into the cheekbone. Take a little bit and put it right in the hairline in the temple right over here. Then I'm going to take this little um, elf brush. It was a dollar and it is my favorite brush for contouring my nose. And I'm going to take this and 
blend out those first lines. For blush, I am going in with Becca's Damselfly. It's just this really pretty um, peachy color with some gold sparkles in it. Not like chunks of sparkles, but some shimmer. Okay, and for my highlight, I'm gonna be using my new obsession. Um, it's a champagne pop, and it is beautiful. And I take that on this little fluffy eyeshadow brush. I think it's perfect for putting on highlighter. Okay, and then I like to take a little bit uh, down the middle and the tip of my nose here. And of course, some on the top of the cupid's bow. It'll make your lips stand out more and it makes it look poutier. A little bit on the chin just to balance everything out. Okay, and for my lip color, I'm going to be trying this new Lilac. Um, let me see. Shiny Full Coverage Lip Color from L'Oreal. This one is called Choco Lac. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Scent on this, incredibly strong. Um, very, very perfumey. I do really, really like the shape of this though. Makes it easy to get right along the edges. Okay, this came out a lot dark. Darker? Dog. Darker than I was expecting it to. You'd think it would be nice and light like the tube here, but it is not. So um, I'm going to use Cookie by ColourPop to try and lighten it up a little bit, make it a little more nude. But not least, why am I out of focus? Always out of focus. Last but not least, going in with MAC Fix Plus. What else is new? I'm going to get a nice layer of that all over the skin and we are done. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, don't forget to like this video and comment below on any future videos you wanna see. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, bye.